cell mediated immune response viruses and bacteria causes infection to healthy cells any particle that causes infection and elicits immune response is termed as antigen antigen are efficiently recognized by our immune system a bacterial and viral antigens have glycoproteins on the surface These glycoproteins acts as receptors to various cells of immune system. There are wide variety of immune cells such as antigen presenting cells, lymphocytes, monocytes, cytokines, etc. Every cell has its unique function in defense. Macrophages are versatile cells and circulates in blood. They are also called as white blood cells. They produce wide array of chemicals such as enzymes, complements, etc. that acts upon antigens. A macrophage resides in spleen and lymph nodes and mainly combats by phagocytosis, a way of killing these bacterial cells or the viral cells. Microbes in blood get trapped in mesh-like structure and it lyses the antigen by phagocytosis. After phagocytosis the antigen is presented over the cell surface of macrophage The antigens are presented by MHC major histocompatibility complex peptides over its surface Now macrophage signals T helper cells and T cytotoxic cells T helper and T cytotoxic cells attach macrophage at their respective receptors. T cytotoxic cells release various granules, lytic particles, cytokines and other immune components. Granules perforins finally lies the viral or infected macrophage or the cell. T cytotoxic cells mainly involved in killing viral infected cells conditioned by macrophages. T cytotoxic cells also kills dysfunction cells by inducing apoptosis like cancer cells. Lysis of the infected cell. and this contributes to cell mediated immune response a t helper and t cytotoxic cells are t lymphocytes which are produced in bone marrow and matured in thymus other cells such as natural killer cells cytokines and different types of immune cells will be discussed in detail in the cells of immune system humoral immune response T helper cells activated by the macrophage signals B lymphocytes which are produced and matured in bone marrow. B lymphocytes produce memory cells and plasma cells. Plasma cells produce antibodies. Antibodies are the immunoglobulins that react with antigens and neutralize them. Antibodies circulate in blood and captures various antigens. They also mark the antigens so that phagocytic cells can recognize and kills them. Due to high diversity and variability, they can encounter any type of antigen. And once they capture antigen, they signal the various immune cells such as macrophages, cytokines, etc. They attract macrophages and complement pathways producing cytokines, interleukins to destroy the infected cells.
Here is the finally the ultimate lysis or neutralization of cell, the debris is phagocytosed and excreted as the pus. Viral neutralization by receptor blocking, antigen bearing microbes, agglutination, soluble antigen precipitation, toxin neutralization and finally apoptosis and phagocytic enhancement is their function. The memory cells have antibodies for invaded antigens. They circulate in the blood. They have antibodies specific to the encountered antigens and when they meet the same antigen again, they signal phagocytic cells activate complement pathways and signal plasma cells to produce more antibodies specifically known as the secondary response. Finally, the antigen is sliced and neutralized. They are the last of tens of years they re encounter antigen. They quickly reactivate the whole B cell lineage specific to that antigen known as steamness of B cell and provide long lasting immunity. The signaling mechanism structures and molecular level component pathways cells of immune system will be discussed in upcoming videos. Thank you.